So the last thing is we're going to do an outro, the call to action, the whole point of making a video. What do you want them to do next? Subscribe, pick up the phone, book your seat, etc. Generally, we put a URL on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another transition. I like to do a fade to black. Depending, generally, I do a fade to black. And then I add a title. So again, the, the one I do at the end usually is a zoom because I want it to really stand out for people. So check that in. And I usually match. You know, if I've used a black screen at the beginning, I use a black screen at the end. It just helps. Uh, just keep it clean. Again, you don't have to overdo it. So what are we going to put in our title, our call to action? Something about uh, watch the rest of the, uh, uh, to see the rest of this seminar visit yeah. or something like that. Because it's almost like they've watched a little bit of the video and we're hooking them. And then we're saying, if you want to see the rest of it, head back to our website to see the rest of it. Or something like that. Obviously, it's going to vary. Um, but I usually, again, thinking about what the goal is. The goal is to get them back to your website. So you need a very clear call to action. Because we're going to be distributing this, and this won't be necessarily embedded into our web page, it's all about getting them to come back to the site, whereas sometimes the call to action might be opt-in below or something like that. So to see the next part of this seminar, let's say, uh, usually just do visit. Generally use title case. Again, it's up to you. I'll leave it like that. I will be consistent. Something like that. And then underneath, you just put in your URL. So what are we doing? Melbourne SEO services. I often, I will, I actually color the SEO because that's, that's what our logo does. So I just add a color there just to add a little bit of, yeah, branding as well, as well. And then you've just got to, we, the way we resize it, so you just highlight it, show fonts, and then you've got this slider here. Basically, we just slide it up and as big as it'll go, and it balances with the, the title above it. And building on that, when, when using any text in video, for me, bigger is always better, especially if you're talking on black screens like this at the intro or outro. Uh, depending on what size they're looking at the video. If you've got the space there, you might as well use it and make it as easy to use for someone as possible. So by doing that, just make it as big as you can. <laughs> no, no, not you in, can't. Not, not no. in video. So because this will be sort of embedded into YouTube. One thing with YouTube, you can insert links. They've got some post editing stuff that I can show you, but they won't let you link off site. You can link to other videos, you can get them to subscribe. Uh, there are different ways that you can embed actions into video. Uh, Traffic Geyser is a good place to look. They've got custom uh, video players that you can o add those sort of actions. So at the end of a video, the video changes to an opt-in box. There are a, different, a few different ways to do that. Uh, but the what, iMovie, obviously, we, we can't do that. And this is going to be used on video sharing sites. So again, it defaults to about three seconds, three and a half seconds. That's not long enough. So we just go in, just double click it, go in. I make it, make it about eight to 10 seconds usually. That's, that's a good amount of time. And then a little technique is, because what will happen is the default for iMovie is that it'll, um, it'll fade out at the end. So, and you don't really want that. You want that URL to stay out there because when YouTube stops, it stops on the last frame, the last thing you see. So the way to, around that is, you go up to your title and you double click on it and then you see here it says the fade in fade out it usually has it has an automatic one you go to manual and you set it to zero so what's that what that is telling it is that i don't want you to fade out so when i go back and i play it <coughs> excuse me it just stays there which is, which is a really good technique. And the other really good technique Ben talked about there is the idea of the length of that last screen. As he said, at the end of the video, especially on YouTube and a lot of the video sharing sites, it'll pop up all of these related videos. So what I like to do is make sure that that last screen, sometimes I'll run it for 15 seconds, 20 seconds. The person isn't going to sit there and watch through the 20 seconds. So the last thing that they see is my URL and hopefully it gets them to take the action. So I'll extend that final screen out quite long. So it's like, go on, 
go visit Melbourne SEO services before all of these other options pop up. So that's, that, that's our kind of basic layout. The final thing we're going to do is add a bit of heart, a bit of punch, a bit of music.